Hello! Just thought I'd make a quick update to my build blog. Uh, for the last week I've been working on getting all of my electronics for my Shape Oak 2 put into a PC case. This case is a micro ATX PC case I think. I spent 30 bucks on Amazon for it. I think it's a Rosewill brand one. It's pretty cheap. Um, came with two fans which I ended up using. Um, on the front I mounted a green power switch and a soft e-switch that I had sitting around. This is not a locking one unfortunately. In fact it's not even working right now because the software needs it. I need to figure out how to set it up properly in the software. So, which I still can't believe that you need to know how to set something like that up. It's a button, but whatever. I that's a that's something for another day. But anyways, and going around the side, you can see into the vent holes and see some of the driver boards. And around the back, we have a couple connectors. We have these connectors are the ones from Inventables. Um, quality wise, they're not the best, but they're not bad. They were easy to solder to. The threads on these screw fasteners aren't the best but they went on easy and they're doing exactly what I need them to do which is to connect the stepper motors to the case so whatever parallel port which is going into the breakout board obviously here um, I used a little bit of um, ABS plastic to make a, a chunk here to basically shield the electronics and everything from having dust and uh, shavings from the machine get tossed into all of the electronics inside. Um, over here you have the an Ethernet keystone jack or RJ45 jack to be completely precise. Um, this is for the limit slash home switches. Uh, the orange and orange slash white wires are the plus 5 volt and ground and then I think brown green and blue are the three signal uh, signals coming off the the limit slash home sensors um, kinda quick jump over here you can see I haven't put this all in heat shrink yet so you can see all of it kind of out and about the two the red and black are the power and then the three signals are right there so basically all all three of the sensors have all three wires for the power parts of them going into those two and then each one has individually has their own you know return that goes back into the breakout board uh, last but not least is the power section or the high voltage section I guess I put a fan up here this is actually part of a old power supply from a PC I actually sliced it all up so it was just this back plate um, power goes in here obviously from the wall um, this is a this actually sends back out uh, 110 power which is it, it only feeds power through it when the switch on the front is turned on so my plan is to run the DW660 through that eventually I want to actually make it so that um, there's a, a relay switch system inside the case that the computer can control so that both the DW660 and a, a vacuum cleaner can be running to basically be hooked up to my dust shoe and have everything so the the computer basically just runs it all automatically so that is basically all I gotta say um, I'm going to make a little bit longer video um, in a couple days documenting the insides of the case and talking a little bit about that so I hope this was interesting and thanks for watching bye